to living room. That's right, I'm living in a room. Anybody up for Mario Checkers? I just think I need more games to play. Like, who wants to play Mario Checkers? And I have no one to play with anyways! Freaking Mario Checkers. I, I don't want I, I don't want whatever you're selling. Hi, I'm Bob. You can call me Board Game Bill. I don't they just call you Board Game Bob? <sighs> don't ask questions. Come on in! So, you like board games, correct? Thank you for asking. Okay. How about Tic-Tac-Toe? Instead. So the Nintendo Switch, right? It has games. One of them is Clubhouse Games, 51 Worldwide Classics. Yeah, so this is a compilation of a bunch of board games, card games, and really whatever they wanted to put on here. But interestingly enough, this game is actually a sequel to a game on the DS titled Clubhouse Games, or 42 All-Time Classics, depending on where you live. Well, you learn something new every day. All right, I got it set up. Ready to play some on call? Someone calls a board game where you focus on getting marbles into your store that's on the right hand side of you. Both players have six pits, which you can move marbles around in accordingly to how many there are. If the last marble you put down is in your store, then you get an extra turn. If the last marble you put down is in an empty pit of yours, then you get the other person's marbles adjacent to the slot that you just put yours in. It sounds complicated, but in truth it's extremely simple, and honestly really fun with another person. Why do we get marbles? So before each game, there are these little introduction tutorial scenes. Uh, there are four characters that can appear in them, including boy, girl, man, woman. But I really like them. They do their job as short little tutorials, and they're kind of charming. Have you played this one before? You brought me the game! Speaking of characters, it told me to create one, so here's Uncle Joe. He lives at the South Pole, his favorite food is hamburgers, and his heart's desire is a true love. So Dots and Boxes is a fun little game where you make lines and complete boxes. If you complete a box, you get a point and then you get to go again. Or you could just do this. Oh, there's Steve. All we have is sippy cups, if that's okay with you. Sure. Yacht Dice. It's Yahtzee. This game's kind of like poker, but with dice instead of cards. You haven't even let go of the dice! I'm trying! I'm sure everyone's played four in a row, and if you haven't, well, you slide chips into columns and rows. And if you get four in a row, or column, or diagonally, you get to win. The next game on the list is Hit and Blow. Okay, so this one's pretty hard to explain, but I'm going to try to anyways. So there are four random pegs inside this slot. You have to figure out the position and color of each peg in that slot. To start off, you just have to guess random colors and positions. You could be given a hit, blow, or nothing. A hit is correct color, correct position. A blow is correct color. And nothing is just... Nothing. You got it wrong. The bulk of the game comes from that they don't tell you which pegs are hit and blows. You have to figure that out on your own. As you go on, you get more and more information, and with that knowledge, you can figure out which pegs are where. It's so satisfying once you actually figure it out, and honestly, this is a pretty fun one, so I recommend it. Nine Men's Morris. Mill! I'm scared. Why? There's small holes in the you have a list for marbles to go in? Yeah. It scares you? Yes. This one's alright. You have to line up three marbles, and once you do, you can take another person's piece. You go until someone only has two pieces. Pegs. So Hexes is a board game where you connect from one side of yours to the other using hexagon pieces. No! Okay, next is checkers. I'm sure everyone's played checkers, but if you haven't, um, you moved your pieces. Yeah, so just a quick rundown. You can only move diagonally, you can only attack by hopping over another person's piece, and if you get to the end, you get a king, which means you can move backwards. Uh, you go until someone either can't move, or you take all their pieces. Do you feel a little hungry? Yes. Alright. 
Alright, here you go. I got us some food. So Hare and Hounds is a pretty cool little game. One person plays as the hare, one person plays as the hounds. The hounds have to trap the hare, and the hare has to escape. It's kind of just okay. Ha! Hare and Hounds, I'm the hounds. I'm gonna maul the heckle yes out of you! Gomoku, you have to line up five in a row in any direction on a flat table. That's pretty much it. Dominoes, it's dominoes. You have to line up dominoes according to the number on the dominoes. Chinese checkers. Ah, crap, skip. Why? The holes! This was my first time ever playing Chinese checkers and I'm glad to say I learned it because it's honestly really fun. You have to get your pieces from one side of the board to the other and you can jump over as many marbles as you need to. Ludo, have you ever played Trouble? Well, it's basically that game. Hey, I got trouble. Backgammon. It's that game you get with checkers that you don't know how to play. It's fun. I prefer this to checkers. Yeah, I said it. I prefer backgammon to checkers. Renegade. You have to find ways to connect your pieces to your pieces through the other person's pieces. And you have to get the most of your pieces. And you flip over the other person's pieces. Um, I... I'm not good at explaining this, but if you look deep into what I said, you'll, you'll probably find a tutorial. Chess. It's chess. If you want to go learn chess, go learn chess. Surrender! Shogi. It's Asian chess. I prefer this to chess. Go learn chess and shogi. Surrender! Mini shogi. It's short shogi. Surrender! Hanafuda. This one's kind of cool because Nintendo used to make these cards. Uh, but the game overall is not very fun. A cool little thing about the card games is that you can unlock Mario versions of the decks. Richie Mahjong. It's really complicated Asian rummy. I was able to learn most of it through this game, but there's some of it I just don't understand the slightest, so uh, moving on. Last card, have you played Uno? Because this is a blatant ripoff of Uno. No, there's a weird rule where you have to call out that you have the last card. Don't forget. Since we can't play last card together, and it's basically the buff Uno, let's play some Uno, your turn. What's four again? And it's less fun. If you want a good virtual Uno card game, go get virtual Uno. Blackjack, this one's just as fun without losing $50. I'm going all in. Hit me! Texas Hold'em. It's a version of poker. I don't poker very well, so... Moving on. President. This is a pretty fun one. You gotta put a higher card than the last person. Um, if the last person put a set, then you have to put a set. It's pretty fun. The first person to go out wins. There are also runs. Sevens. You take turns with four people counting up and down from seven. Okay, so speed is a card game where you have to go up and down from the cards in the middle with your half of the deck. First person to get rid of their half of the deck wins. I got it! Matching. Have you ever played matching? War! Surrender! I'm pretty sure everyone knows how to play this, but hey, if you don't, you take two cards and see which one is higher. Ten octopus balls, please! Hey! Food, I'm kinda hungry! Takoyaki, where you have to get every single card from ace to ten. Time to eat! I know! Pig's Tale, it's a fun little card game based all around the suits. Your goal is to get the least amount of cards. Ah, frickin' pigs! Golf, wait, what? Ready for golf? So this is the point where they decide to just let anything into this game. Okay, so this is just overhead golf. It's actually kind of fun. However, I do prefer Wii Golf. You know how there's poker in this game? Yeah. Billiards, it's overhead eight ball and nine ball. Bowling, the motion controls suck. Who's up for bowling? Like, look at this. I'm just trying to let go of the ball and like, I can't do it. Bowling pin! Darts, the motion controls don't suck. Karam, it's like Indian 8-ball. FOR INDIA! I have no idea why this is not with the board games, but, um, I mean, it's not. Toy tennis! Oh boy, I love tennis! It's simple tennis. Toy soccer, have you ever played foosball? But just made it really, really bad? Toy curling's easily my favorite toy one of the bunch. Uh, basically, you take turns sliding stones towards the middle, and the closest one towards the middle, at the end, wins. Toy boxing. This is bad boxing. What's your strategy? No! Oh. 
Toy Baseball. I've played so many versions of Toy Baseball in the past decade made by Nintendo. Air Hockey. This is actually a pretty fun game because um, it's, uh, it's Air Hockey. Slot Cars. It's exactly what it says it is. It's okay because it's, it's Slot Cars. Fishing! I mean, what you see is what you get. It's, uh, it's actually kind of relaxing. I, I kind of like it. Battle Tanks. It's where you take turns shooting each other. Team Tanks. It's where you shoot each other. Shooting Gallery. Where you shoot. I wish there were more stages to Shooting Gallery, but it's a cool little callback to Wii Play. Six Ball Puzzle. It's beautiful and really fun, and the music's amazing. Speaking of the music, let's talk about the music. The soundtrack is amazing. Every track fits the games it goes with, and... They just all sound really nice. So Six Ball Puzzle, it's exactly what it says it is. It's a Stuff is Fallen game, and it's really good and really fun. Alright, so now onto the Solitaire games. Sliding Puzzle, it's exactly what you think it is, but it's a lot more stressful than you think it is. Mahjong Solitaire. You match tiles. Klondike Solitaire, this is the Solitaire you all know and love. Or just at least know. Or if not, then go learn it, then you'll know, and then maybe love. Spider Solitaire is the same basic premise as Klondike Solitaire, uh, but it's different, and I prefer Klondike Solitaire. Piano! So now that we're done with these games, it's overall pretty good. I mean, it looks nice, it sounds nice, and the game selection is pretty good. Alright, we're done here. You can leave. Wait, did you think letting a stranger into your house was a good idea? No! You haven't even realized that I've changed my shirt a few times. Now I'm gonna punish you. I'm gonna send you to an alternate dimension. What's the catch? No form of entertainment. Hi, welcome to Living Room. That's right, I'm living in a room. Anybody up for inventing the deck of cards? Well, he wasn't lying. The TV's gone, a bunch of decorations around the house are gone. Food and beverages now taste like absolutely nothing. Uh, but hey, at least I got a water bottle. I should probably go outside and see what's changed. Well, I looked for a lawnmower, but apparently the grass doesn't need to look nice anymore. <laughs> ah, crap. Well, do you know it's not entertainment? Guns! Woo! Jesus Christ, just take a bath. So overall, that was fun.